Here we have a Raycor 1885 TTA, comprised of a drive unit, MA1723, and the main one kilowatt amplifier, the 181830. Inside, within the door is housed 4CX1500B, produces uh, 1 kilowatt across the band of 2 to 30 megahertz. Inside, blower assembly and all the EHT, EHT gear. All interlocked for safety. The main unit is the drive unit. This is where the RF is actually generated, modulated, uh, and basically is a low-level transmitter. It's uh, 100 to 200 milliwatts out. The unit underneath is the control assembly for the main one kilowatt. I'll uh, engage the unit. Everything is servo-driven inside, as you can hear. And we'll put her into standby mode, which just actually activates the internal fan cooling system. You can see that blowing away in the background. The next position will be to switch the EHT on. What's actually happening here is the uh, heaters are being warmed up through a two minute cycle to make sure the valve is okay. So we'll come back in uh, just a moment. Okay, so the transmitter is now warmed up. The tube is uh, heated for two to three minutes and now the EHT is applied. We can have a quick look at some of the uh, scales here. The one KV, sorry, the one milli, one amp, tube current, 200 milliamps, and EHT at 3 kV. So that's uh, that's all there right now. Effectively just run through the drive once more time. 300 milliamps, 3 kV, and we even have some grid volts there. So, the normal procedure next will be to tune the transmitter up on the frequency of choice. In this case, we'll just set the uh, transmitter up on, on 7 megs. It's into a, uh, a bird dummy load on the top here, which is a 1 kilowatt dummy load, HF. And we simply depress the reset button. If I can find the reset button. What's happening now is servos are driving all the uh, two large tank coils and selecting the correct capacitor to give you the right load match. When it's all finished, too, a ready lamp comes up here. So I'll just, just run through that again. We can dial in any frequency you want. We can call up uh, 14, uh, say, uh, 150 megahertz, enter, and the machine goes off onto its dialer. A small bit of RF is generated, tunes, and is ready to go. Ready lamp on, ready to transmit. Uh, as we're off air and we're just into a dummy load, I'll actually key it across to uh, AM and engage uh, the transmit manually. And um, we should be able to see a one kilowatt output on the meter down here. So there she goes, one kilowatt. And we'll turn her off. And likewise on the power meter, transmitting right across over to the one kilowatt phase. Switch her off. So the uh, transmitter is working fine. Tunes up on whatever band you require. Uh, can transmit on SSB, up a lower sideband AM, CW, and has a FSK facility as well. So uh, for those that initiated, very cool unit, UK manufacturer, probably made at Bryn Bracknell at Western Road premises. Um, this was actually a subsequent to a, a lot of uh, solid state transmitters generated at the time. This replaced the 1860, which was a, uh, another one kilowatt, which actually idled at around about three kilowatts input, uh, just on idle. So this was a uh, three phase machine. This unit here idles uh, a little bit less, it's around about 800 to one kilowatt. Uh, and that's just at idle, so you can run it off single phase. So the Raycall TTA 1885.